Hello there and welcome to this video that is going to explain the methods of calculating the circumference of circles and the perimeter of sectors. Now before we get into the calculations what we need to do is recap the correct names for the different parts of circles. What we can see here is that the circumference is the distance all the way around the outside of a circle. The key measurements for a circle are the radius which is the distance from the center of the circle to the outside or to the circumference and the diameter of the circle which is the dis distance all the way across the circle through the center. Now there are several different ways that we can divide a circle up. If we look at the area enclosed by two radii of the circle we end up with an area that's called a sector and the length of the circumference that's associated with that sector is called an arc. If we've got a sector that has a 90 degree angle then that sector is called a quadrant. Similarly if we have half a circle that's known as a semicircle. Now what I suggest you do if you haven't got those diagrams drawn down already what you'll need to do is just pause the video for a moment copy down the circles and semicircles and sectors and make sure you've got them labelled correctly. Take a moment to pause the video to do that now. Now that you've got that diagram drawn down what we need to do is go into some circumference calculations. Now what we've got here we've got two circles. The first circle has a diameter of 5.6 centimeters. The second circle has a radius of 2.4 centimeters. Now we know from year 8 work that the circumference of a circle equals pi times the diameter of the circle or if we've got the radius of the circle the circumference of the circle equals 2 pi times the radius of the circle. So in the first case what we'll do is we'll take the value of 5.6 which is our diameter substitute it into our formula so we'll end up with pi times 5.6 centimeters which gives us an answer of 17.59 291-886 when we type that into our calculator. Then when we round that off we'll get an answer of the circumference of the circle equals 17.6 centimeters correct to one decimal place. Now it's very important that we indicate the precision of our rounding. Underline your answer. Now if we've got the radius like we've got in this case we'll substitute 2.4 in for the radius so we've got 2 times pi times 2.4 and in this case we're using meters after we put that into our calculator we'll end up with an answer of 15.079645 and that answer goes on and on. Therefore, if we're rounding that to one decimal place also, we'll end up with 15.1 metres correct to one decimal place. So once again, just pause the video so that you can copy down those examples. Now the next thing that we'll be looking at we'll be trying to find the perimeter of a quadrant and the perimeter of a semicircle. Now what you notice the first thing is that when we're looking at our quadrant we're looking at a quarter of a circle. So that means when we're calculating the perimeter and remember the perimeter goes all the way around the outside of the shape so what we've got is the two radii plus this curved section which is our arc. So first things first we need to figure out 
the lengths that we know and the lengths that we don't know. Now, because these are equal radii, we've got 4.4 across the bottom and we've got 4.4 centimetres up a side. But what we don't know is the arc length. So, the first thing we'll do is we'll write down that the perimeter equals 2 times 4.4, which are both radii, plus the length of the arc. Now, to calculate the length of the arc, all we do is we take the full circumference of the circle and divide it by 4. And because we're using the radius, what we'll do is we'll go 2 times pi times 4.4 and what I like to do I like to put that into brackets because that is going to be the whole circumference of the circle and for the quadrant we're going to divide that by 4 and that gives us the answer of 6.91150338 for the arc length which we're going to round off to 6.9 centimetres, correct to one decimal place. So that means the final answer for our perimeter is going to be 2 times 4.4, which is 8.8, .8, plus the 6.9 centimetres, which will be 15.7 centimetres, correct to one decimal place. Two one D P. Now the final calculation that we're going to do is a calculation involving this semicircle. To find the perimeter of the semicircle, we notice we've got the diameter all the way across 9.1 centimeters plus the semicircular arc, which is half of the circumference of the circle. So in terms of the perimeter calculation we'll write down that the perimeter equals 9.1 centimetres plus half of the circumference and half of the circumference or the arc in this case is going to be a half times pi times the diameter which is our 9.1 centimetres. Now, so that means the arc length is going to be 14.29424657 centimetres. Rounding that off, we'll get 14.3 centimetres, correct to one decimal place. Then adding that onto the 9.1, we'll get our perimeter of 9.1 plus 14.3 which gives us the final perimeter of the semicircle as 23.4 centimeters correct to one decimal place and summarize our answer nicely therefore the print and underline now thanks very much for watching this video and i hope that clears up um, a few points in how to calculate the circumference of circles and the perimeter of quadrants and semicircles. Thanks very much for watching.